being a creator actually requires you to live your life. And what I mean by that, I think is so often as YouTubers or creators, we set out to make the most viral video. I've been a YouTuber for over 10 years and every day I was like, okay, what am I going to make that's going to be good for the algorithm? What am I going to make that's a good trend? And I literally became, I guess, what people call the social media guru on the internet that told people what to make that would get views. Like, obviously, I wasn't, like, scamming people and, like, selling them a million-dollar dream and, like, driving a Ferrari. But I was going on the internet and saying, you know, to be a creator, you have to make these types of videos and stuff. And I think that's all bullshit because I think as a creator, the more healthy and sustainable way is to figure out what type of artist, musician, entrepreneur you are and then document that versus trying to create something. Like, take a filmmaker, for example, a musician. You know, they're focused on making a movie and an artist is making music and then they're gonna make whatever behind the scenes content to, to promote that music. Like, we, they have a goal. Creators should have that mindset where you are the product. If you're marketing yourself, you don't have to market like a song, but if you're trying to market yourself, what are you standing for? And I wanted to make this um, episode because I wanted to talk about how a content creator should make content versus you know what we're all taught and hopefully give you guys some ideas to change up your routine and figure out not just what's going to get views but what's going to make you happy and fulfilled as a as an artist so that's what's going to be today's episode i hope you guys enjoy and let's dive right in if you're watching this on youtube i actually have a podcast version of every video that I make. It's called I'm Not an Expert. This podcast is free to listen to. It's the longer version of my YouTube videos and I answer some of your questions one-on-one. -on -one, so it's a little bit more intimate. You guys should subscribe. It's on Spotify and check out in the link below. Also guys, I am filming this outside because I really have been so stressed lately inside, but there is so many noises. So I, I hope it sounds okay. So I really think it's super important to document and not create. Now you might be wondering, Jade, how the fuck do I figure out what to document? Well, I think it's really important to figure out what you're passionate about. And I know you're going to be like, Jay, what the fuck? Like, that's so cringe. Like, figure out what you're passionate about. But no, honestly, I think you have to figure out what is something that you know is something you are obsessed with. Start there and then try to get really good at it and then document you getting good at that. Like, for example, I make videos on my YouTube channel about starting a company and launching a business because I'm passionate about entrepreneurship. I am talking about the process of it and every week i go on and talk about what the fuck i'm up to and i don't try to teach people i don't try to you know make content about entrepreneurship i just make content about what i'm doing as an entrepreneur and i think this is really helpful because a as a creator i'm not performing i come up with ideas a lot faster because instead of saying what do i create it's like what i what did i do this week you know and it's also really fun because i find that i'm able to actually include my friends in it like i'm documenting my life like i'm not again i'm just not performing i think the minute you perform i don't really know how people do when they have identities and fake relationships like i am just not capable maybe i'm not mentally strong enough to do that but i don't know i just really think it's important to not fake it because if you're really trying to make money and, and have a career on youtube and tiktok or whatever it's a long game and you can't fake it long term okay i'm gonna call myself out i used to make videos about how to start up instagram or something um and grow to a certain following amount and that was fine because i was just documenting how i grew to maybe five thousand followers but there was a point where like i was talking about like getting a million fans or something and i'm like bitch i don't even have a million fans like why would i be even talking about it and i'm not saying you can't teach something you don't know like i literally have a podcast called i'm not an expert what i'm just saying is it's not fun to do that like it's not fun to create something and try to figure out what's popular because what i was doing is i wasn't trying to like what i was really doing was not trying to you know teach something i didn't know it was like i just wanted to chase whatever got views and it was super hard to break that cycle like i think it's really important to talk about things even if you're not an expert but i also think do you even like what you're talking about like that's the most important thing and that's what i'm trying to say it's like don't sacrifice your enjoyment for view numbers it's not going to last forever and you have to like what you're doing because if all of a sudden maybe 10 percent people don't like you as much you got to be able to be okay with that and um i wrote this down in my notes i think being a creator is just essentially marketing yourself but if who you are consistently changes you don't have a unique identity so like you don't know who you are essentially if you are always changing yourself right there's this analogy i have like in surfing you could either chase a wave down and paddle for it or you could just wait for a good wave to come to you 
Like, I think that's the way we should look at content creation. We should not change ourselves, but just wait until the audience comes to us. Like, I'm averaging at, at this date, like, 2K... 3k views per youtube video and i'm really happy with that even though I've, I've made so many more views in the past i'm really happy with averaging at a lower amount because it doesn't matter to me i'm making videos that are fun and um you know youtube is part of my career like of course i care about money but i don't care about money more than my mental health so you know i i do make income in other ways and i we can talk about that like i i think a part of what i'm trying to say also is like i don't think as a creator you have to you have to live your life to make content like you have to figure out who you are and i also think as a creator you should make money without youtube like you should be able to not be financially reliant on the internet liking you because that's very very hard to sustain and it's very stressful and i know for a lot of creators maybe watching this video you're you're maybe not even monetized yet or maybe you're like trying to quit your job to do youtube but i actually think it's super healthy to have another side hustle or a uh, a main gig and have YouTube as a side hustle so you can actually document it. I know this is really hard to, to, to say because I think a lot of people really want to be self-employed and be your own boss, but I think in the, at the end of the day, when you're self-employed and you're a creator or anything, it's all consuming. You don't have a break. You don't feel like you ever do enough work. And I guess what I'm trying to say is like, sometimes if you're not strong enough to break that cycle, because I'm not, I know some people are, sometimes you have to find other ways to make money so you don't put pressure on that activity. And in terms of making content, like going back to what I was talking about earlier, you know, if you're not good at work-life separation, you know, try not to make content. Try to figure out what you want to do today and then just so happen to document it on YouTube. I am not trying to create something that's not me. I'm just trying to make whatever makes me happy and then an audience can watch. So I know this is selfish. I know this advice is kind of strange. It's like, I think a lot of people put this mindset of like, make content that's helpful for the world. But if you're not making yourself happy, what? why would you be wanting to live in this world, right? That sounds kind of morbid. Um, <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is when you're taking care of yourself first, when you're happy and thriving and you enjoy your content, other people will also enjoy it because people have shared interests. And start there because then we can actually start to make meaningful content. I know for me, I have a startup called NF Treehouse where we're planting trees with creators minted as NFTs. And we're a climate change startup that uses crypto and it's just so much more fulfilling like i really am just so happy that i've done this work because although this shit's hard like trust me guys like today i had a really bad day at end of treehouse because uh, we were supposed to host a community twitter space call and twitter went down and our guest that we brought on just it was did not work out with timing and it just made me feel like no one care about my project right it's, it's a very similar emotion to like not getting views on a youtube video it's like oh does no one care about my product or business but I, I go back to like the mission. It's like not about the metrics. It's not about views and shit. It's about helping the earth and reducing our carbon footprint. Once I started doing more research on social impact and how I could integrate it with my current work, I wouldn't necessarily say things get easier, but you have a lot more patience because you know, I think with the social space, it's like if, if things don't work out, it's like, okay, try again, you know, right? And I think when, when it comes to like, working on a YouTube channel, if things don't work, you try again. But if things don't work again, it means people hate me, right? Whereas I don't see that way, if, like for NF Trees. It's like, I really think what I'm doing is important. It's just going to be a matter of time. And, you know, I think, um, I hope you guys can figure out what that is for you and document that. So I hope you enjoyed this, this episode. Um, I'm going to do some questions that I got from social um, on the podcast. So you guys can listen to that. And if you're a creator right now watching this video and you want to do something in environmental or purpose-driven work and you're interested about NFT House, we're actually launching our creator partnerships pretty soon on next week. So follow me on Instagram and our Instagram NFT House. And um, if you want to plant your own tree with your own audience, we can help you facilitate that and help you do amazing work as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'm getting burned up outside right now. So I'll see you guys very soon. Um, and shout out to the comment winner. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. I gotta go. I'll see you guys later.